Oh, trailer queen's here. Just because it's a bad idea doesn't mean it won't be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Do. Was that not like one of the best climbs you've ever done? Dude, yes. Razor. It was fun. I enjoyed it. I've been talking about getting an aftermarket cage as my next big mod. Just gave myself a reason. Thanks for joining us on another episode of the West Virginia Trail Riding Series. We're on Bear Wallow Trail 73, about to hit it going up. This is a double black and it's gonna get wild. I wasn't exaggerating when I said it's gonna be insane, so stay tuned. There's a ton of action and even some carnage heading your way. This is gonna be crazy. You wanna get out or stay in? black trails on this video it's a bit of a longer episode but there is a ton of action and a lot of variety here by the end of this video you're also gonna know why I need to build a new roll cage hang on tight and enjoy the ride Wicked.
great winching. I think I need to be over here with my line. You think you can make it? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. make it. Eventually, all takes it. time. thinking. This never ends well. Yeah, like if we get through this, we'll be okay. But I think... Uh, no, no, no. No? Oh, I'm talking to Julian. Oh. It's a really good shot of that, I'm sorry. That's a good spot where he just was and below him, go behind him. That's going to be hard. Like, go from kind of where he is. Go. This is difficult, eh? But this is Look what we came that. for. Huh? This is what we came for. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna find myself a spot. This is insane. You gotta go that way either way. I think that rock's too big there on my right. This must be a waterfall when it rains. Holy, it's loose. Like, it's not rock, it's like sand and gravel. Let her rip. Let her rip, tater chip. He's sandwiched. You're bellying out on this side. Oh, that's a good idea. One more, one more. How much battery do you have left? 33%. Back, we gotta make it up here. The winches are going to get a workout. Get ready to boom, Ksenia. Yes.
He ate his way up that. I'm gonna grenade it there. Yeah. You might not be the only one. No. I'm wondering what's up there. Hey, that works. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. That means it's worse. Yeah. <laughs> I texted him. I said, hey, it's 3 30 and no one's winched yet. <laughs> Come on. I think there's gonna be some f cables flying here. Yeah, we're gonna use the winches. Where are we winching to? It's amazing how we got out of Probably that winch. That little tree? As long as you get your tires up, I think they'll be good. If I use that little We should be able to use that. Yeah, slap a few in the first spot there, yeah. Okay, I guess I'm next. Some days getting the carnage out of the way early is good. <laughs> then you get to sit back and watch everyone else suffer. Pick that rock up, Julian, the one you're standing on. Yeah? Slide it over. Well, I don't want to make it too easy. Yeah. Oh my god. This is insane. I love it. <laughs> this is awesome. That's it! Look at his tire. Yeah. That's gonna be an issue. Well, there's a lot to go around it that way. Through there? No, nah, that's a bad idea. You're either going to the right or, or through here. Will you fit right here? No your dip, it'll be the last time you do it. Let's get realistic here for a minute. A few of those guys are not gonna do well here. I, I'm, I'm saying we got two rolls, two dips. It's not a bad place to roll if you lay on your side either way. A lot of winch spots up here. Yeah. Mother Nature looked We're after us. Winch and Brandon's gonna squeeze in between those two. All right. I mean, first you gotta get here. Yeah. I'm next. <laughs> That's bad. Oh boy. I think if I can make it through here and up to that, I'm fine winching up the next part. Because there's no way I'm doing the wheelie like Greg just did. I literally did a wheelie up that. Greg catwalk. Up that next section. There he is. Yeah. It's fine. This is the hard part. If you can get up to the next section, you can winch. This isn't a bad place to roll though. Because it'll just lay over into a rock. Yeah. If I'm rolling, make sure you get a good video of it, okay? Yeah. Okay. Stay up there. Hey, did, did you come to go around? Because <laughs> I didn't. High five. Woo! <laughs> they ain't no trailer queen. No trailer queens hey, here. Can I rely on your muscle if I roll over? Yeah. Well, I'm good to go then. Yep. I'll pick you up, buddy. Thanks, baby. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. What do I not know? This is insane. Like, the, no machine should ever be able to do this. Yeah. Greg, Super Greg just did it. That's why we call him Super Greg, right? Yeah. No, you all have to do this. <laughs> no, we all have to do it. <laughs> Courtney said if I roll over, he'll flip me back on my wheels, so. Perfect, but he's far away. Yeah. <laughs> Adios. If this ends badly, I'm going straight to Valhalla. Holy s***. Let's do it. Woo! I gotta get over this part. Go far left, Courtney said. Far left? Yeah. Yeah, up there? Yeah, I know.
Can I back up? left tire over that log.
seen the log you're on? I haven't seen the log I'm on. I can't go. It's I'm probably... You'll make it if you stay in it. Back up a little more. I can't. I'm in the bank. Okay. Oh, okay. Right there. Dead straight. Back up more. I can back up more. That's about it. Dead straight. Give her. Hey. They told me they turned they were gonna meet us up at the top.
so. Check. Yeah. Okay. Good luck now. So uh, Bill turned around and everyone went with him? Yeah. Dude, this is why we came here. Right? That was a f***ing rush. I can't believe I made it that far. Thanks for the help. Yeah, no worries. A little bit of a spotting, eh? Like... Well, once you hit it two or three times, you forget what's there. I didn't even know that log yeah. was there. Easy. I guess Bill just didn't want to show off. Done. Over. Walking behind him is hard. You did good. Really good. Ah! Never easy for you. Hey, where did you go to? Where did you go? Up over that one. I straddled that one. Whoa. He did better than both of us. Yeah. Except you made it up. <laughs> Just walking up this is hell. Dude, I'm not taking a free wheel if it doesn't work. In and out a little. Okay, out, out, out. Okay, just your relay was sticking. Okay. Damn, dude. <laughs> it's done that to me before. Dude, he f***ing schooled that hill. Those things work so well. How far it up? All the way to the top and got stuck on the big rock on the right side. Yeah? I have to winch too. Yep. He did better than... At this point, I'm just happy I made it to the top. Yeah, yeah, literally, I'm just happy I didn't turn around. Yeah. I got... I might not get a ride. This is insane. Can you imagine this if it was wet? Oh, man. I don't think you would climb it. Rock bouncer. Dude, even that, like, it's a bit too narrow for a bouncer. 
Yeah, for but I mean for a, uh, like a Razor Bouncer, you know they got oh, those yeah. side by side chassis ones. Two more. Home stretch. Two more. Two more. Where am Brandon? I going to the right? I'm pulling. To your right. They just don't give a fuck, so they do it, pin it to win it, and hopefully it holds together. Yeah, to. Or yeah, they don't care if they roll. It's extra points. Yeah. Those boys are. That's another kind of crazy. He's not gonna make it up as fast as the KRX. I can switch spots. Corny makes some of this shit look so damn easy. Obviously, as soon as I get here. Oh, so close! Back up and get a bit of momentum. Oh, you had it. Stretching and all of a sudden, it, I just could never broke. Um, are you like 26? Back up, back up. Okay, back up and hit it again. With momentum. Or not. Warm them up. Back up. 
Holy shit. Greg, is that your son? Hey. I won't disown him over that one. He made her up. No winching. Dad's proud. Dad's proud. That's part of the family right there. Dad's proud. That was a good one. <laughs> That's good, though. That's good. Aunt Dude, Susie's even proud. That's what it takes. No, he's trying to rock at me. Hey, it's everybody smaller. else is up there waiting it's for us. Slow. It's smaller now, but I had this big golf ball here. <laughs> It's all good. <laughs> yeah. you, that wasn't working? No, the, I had the other one. It overheated right as you hit me. GoPros do that. That yeah. shot turns off. Mother Every time. They know. They know. Hey, like at the start, it just spun. I and then he gets zero, up this, yeah. I had zero traction. But like bouncing, beating it, zero. Well, there's probably some pumps, but. This we all we had? Yeah. Thanks, I think your tires were big enough though. Like you got over that really nice where I hit it and it was like, no, it just stopped. You okay? <laughs> First time walking? Okay, let's keep going. Oh, the other guy's here for it. Oh, he did. Son of a bitch! What? Damn, call him found out. What? I had a wedge. <laughs> oh, he knew. Yeah. <laughs> I just had to confirm. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Colin. Hey, just in case you don't understand, the KRX winched. <laughs> the one KRX didn't winch, though. The blue one didn't winch. Bill didn't win. Yeah. You know, I'm just excited for my new sticker. New sticker. Oh yeah, there's a, I made these stickers. I didn't yeah. come to go around and I'm oh. gonna hand them out later to people that made it to the top. Yeah, winch yeah. or not. Says, I don't need no you, you want one of those? I'll make you one. Yeah, yeah, this is what I, this is what I want to do. Winch or not, was that not like one of the best climbs you've ever done? Dude, yes. Yeah. Oh, that was amazing. That right there was worth yeah. the trip. <laughs> yeah. Worth the price of admission right there. I don't know why those guys... I don't care what three-wheeler you got. They shouldn't have gone around. Those guys should have stayed. They missed out. They did. On the true experience of riding with Team AJP. That's right. Let me spell it out for you. Team AJP. Because right here. Just because it's a bad idea... Doesn't mean it won't be fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I'm loving it. I missed the blue box going up. Uh, the camera, like always, the GoPro decided to die. Colin was pushing it so hard. What the hell? There's more?
So guys, I told you that climb was gonna be crazy, and it was. Something's wrong here. I'm noticing my, my razor should not be lifting wheel like this here. Something's broken at this point. I'm realizing something's wrong. You probably heard some of those cracks and bangs coming through my machine, so um, just stay tuned and you're gonna see what happened. Needless to say, that was one of the best sections of trail we've hit on this trip. It is so extreme in real life when you're there. The camera does a pretty good job capturing some of these obstacles and, and some of the size of these boulders, but overall, when you're sitting in the seat, you can't see what's right in front of you. The angles, the, the size of these boulders, it's crazy. And you're always one little judgment call away from either rolling over or, or giving it too much throttle and breaking something, and, and you break an axle or you break something more serious in a situation like this, on a trail like this, and you are in for some issues. Hey, what'd you do last weekend? Well, I drove up and down some mountains. You can definitely see that some of these double black trails are not traveled as commonly as the other trails. Um, you can just tell by how overgrown they are and, and by the condition of the, the trail itself. It, it looked like no one had been down this trail for at least a, a few days um, prior to us hitting it based on the conditions. And as more and more people hit it and loosen up the rocks and some of those hard sections, you get less and less traction. And, and you know how it is. Sometimes it's easier going first, sometimes it's harder. This is probably one of those trails where it's a little harder traction-wise to go behind the people. Not on this section, but like I said, in the more technical complex areas. Oh, my ears pop. However, with that being said, the benefit of going second or third or fourth is that you do get to watch the people in front of you hit the trail and, and kind of come up with what the best line and, and strategy is. Man, I didn't realize there was more. It's <laughs> another good spot there. Yeah, where you been? <laughs> where have you been? You know that spot y'all went around? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I couldn't wait that long. You know what? If we had the all winch up, we'd be in there for a few hours. Wait yeah, till you see the video. The excuses get better and better. Hey, you know, I am the only one, know. man. I'm the only one. You got none to prove. For these guys, though, I do. Right? I do. Yeah, I didn't make any there, stickers yeah. for, for wusses, though. Yeah. I didn't think anyone would turn around. Oh! Thank you. I love you. <laughs> really? You guys suck. You told me turn around. <laughs> You know what? Right? It's a mob mentality. Once yeah. one person turns around, you all think you can. Yeah. <laughs> After I watched you for about three or four minutes, I Wait, said, what year it was yeah, I'm with you guys. <laughs> no, no shame in that. That was abusive. No. Was I don't abusive. want to break nothing. I don't want to. Tomorrow will be different. Dude, that was abusive. Break that was abusive. I almost rolled over like seven oh, times. Hey. Oh, really? That was great. <laughs> <laughs> was that awesome or what? Oh my god. That is insane. That's what we came for though. Yeah, so maybe a few of us winched up it, but the fact is, we all tried, and we did make it. So, you know, we gotta bust the chops of the guys that went around. That's fine, I can have welded you one on. I know. Who's tickling so, uh, over there, looks man. like we sheared finger. the sway bar bracket right off the frame. <laughs> <laughs> That's a first for me. The reason the razor was bouncing around like a slinky was, like I said, I sheared the sway bar bracket right off of the frame, which, after I looked it up, is actually a semi-common issue on these machines. Which one do you want? That's why you remove all that. Um, at the end there, likely, yeah, because my wheel just went up at the top there. I'm like, what the I know. Yeah. I'm like, and no that's... It must have sheared when I was bouncing up that. Oh yeah, for sure. I was hoping it wouldn't break this trip. Oh yeah! <laughs> I just welded these thinking yeah. it would just keep it together and I think they put extra stress on the bracket. Well, I, I can't imagine that you were stressing it at all. <laughs> no. They had nothing to do with that. So when you're leading, yeah, sometimes you have to run first and you run into uh This is what we had last time. Look at yeah. the Remember it? 
Oh yeah, like look the at the webs he's got morning. already. As we had mentioned in previous episodes, there is a ton of insects and loads and loads of crazy spiders here in the bush. And when you're the first one going on a trail that hasn't been traveled down for, for even a few hours, you're cutting through a ton of webs and like, look at this guy, he's not wasting any time. Oh, it's dinner! Yeah, oh, oh my god, look at that. Oh! And it's pretty evident there's a few guys in the crew that don't really seem phased by spiders. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my god. There we go. Get oh him. my god, this is huge. Look at the size of them. Yeah. How did you just jump Okay. Different bugs Ooh, here. You got it, yeah. I'm missing out one of the water. Is uh is this part of my frame supposed to come off? I, bet I can you. still grease it. Yeah. I bet you. <laughs> Where's that from? It's a sway bar. That's a oh. That explains the noise you've been hearing. Yeah. It's only her side though. Yeah. Who cares? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, only your side. You have an eight mil in there? I yep. He's got one right there. Eight mil what? Eight mil quarter inch drive and a quarter inch drive. Ratchet. You know what? Our ride quality is going to improve because it's not going to make that banging noise anymore. Yay. I like you. You're really helpful. I try to be helpful. It's your fault. And it's his fault that I'm so helpful. I have this bag of tools because what I learned watching his videos. I'm not even. I'm not even lying. I'm not exaggerating. this. <laughs> Spare parts, extra weight. Yeah. <laughs> you hear New York Mike saying that he learned a few things from the videos and he always comes prepared now with tools. So with his help and a few others, we got that rear sway bar off and that got us back on the trail. With the rear sway bar completely removed, I will have to be a bit more cautious, especially in high speed corners and on off camber situations. The machine will be much more tippy. It's gonna be like a slinky bouncing all over the place. But we didn't really have a choice. We couldn't leave it in there just bouncing around on one mount. It, it could just cause more issues or if it sheared off completely while we were riding it, it could potentially cause more collateral damage. Although the machine is a lot more unstable with the rear sway bar disconnected, it is so much more comfortable. The ride quality is awesome. Uh, the way it soaks up bumps is, is amazing because it gives you true independent four-wheel suspension now that none of the wheels are connected. Well, but what Ksenia was saying is that the drops off the side of the trail here are insane. When you look on some sections of the trail and you look over the edge, it's just like there's like 400 foot drops there. Uh, you would not want to make a wrong turn around here because it just will not end well. One final point on the rear sway bar situation, um, if you've never tried riding without sway bars, then I highly recommend you just pull your front sway bar out and throw it away if you like to trail ride. Um, but if you've never tried without a rear, then just for fun, one day when you're out on some local trails, some slower speed crawling, just disconnect it, zip tie it out of the way, and see the difference it makes. It is mind blowing. Please be careful though if you do it, because I'm not exaggerating when I say the ride characteristics of the machine change drastically with the disconnected. Now I've driven with the rear sway bar disconnected many times in the past. Overall, for mixed riding, I say keep it connected. Um, even on technical trails, the stability it adds well outweighs the uh, benefits of not having it connected. But what I'm noticing here is something else is wrong with the Razor aside from the rear sway bar. It is not handling like it's supposed to right now.
As I've mentioned in the past, it's great having Ksenia as a co-pilot because she's way better at reading maps than me. She has a really good sense of direction, so she usually finds a way to get us back on track if we're lost. 't sure if you can really notice it on the video here but the razor seems a little softer in the front right corner and it seems to be kind of dipping down and slanting to the right you could see it a little bit on some of the straightaways too I feel like it started after that crazy climb on trail 73 and I had mentioned earlier that I felt it was handling a little bit weird oh, the roof does. This was another trail that was just awesome. It was so scenic and fun. Um, it's one of those sections where the camera really does struggle picking up the depth and, and the extremity of the situation, but we had a ton of fun in this area too. And not having the rear sway bar here was actually a big benefit because it, it made the razor flex out so nice in these uh, drops and all these boulders. Oh, this part's gonna be interesting for us.
you. I'm fine. Good. I'm fine. We're good. I'm fine. Right. We're good. good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Do you want us to roll you over or jump out first? Uh, I'm undone, so let's jump out. Yeah. 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 Smile for the camera. This is yeah. good. Smile for the camera. This is good footage. Oh, I whipped, bro. You oh, good? It works. Hey. I knew it was happening. Hey. Hey, buddy. Somebody had to be the first. Apparently, you jerk off. Hey, you knew. To the right. Was out. I knew it was happening right there. I told her, hold on, because we're going to roll. Yeah. You get you want out? You yes. want? Yeah. I'll, I'll take the camera. Over. 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 Stay, stay in it while we inside. Stay inside. One, two, three. Oh. Holy. Three, two, one. one. This is heavy. Is it Hold in on, park? It in park. Push it in park, Casenia. Huh? Push the gear lever all the way forward. Put it in okay. park. Going over. All right. Gents. Going over. All right. Gents, She's beautiful good. guys. Good yeah. job, buddy. All right. Look at that. All right. <laughs> I like, I like, I like, the, I like, the, whip. I like awesome. the whip now, too. I'd leave it bent. <laughs> oh. Man! Oh. <laughs> leave her bent. And that's why you have an extra pitch. It's so sketchy without the sway bar. Yeah. Is this a trail? No, no. the oh. trail's there. That's why I can't get through this one without now. I'll drive out. You okay? Yeah. Oh, she's just hey, hanging around. exciting or what? <laughs> we got on video. It's fun. Sorry, she's just hanging <laughs> around. Yeah, oh, she's good. Yeah, it's all on. Yeah. He's got the oh. harness. He's got the harness. I know it all. I wish we had a camera to watch it. Yeah. That was a good one. Yeah. That was, yeah. That's, uh, I'll give some. Right all. Damn near right over. Yeah. No, that one's over, man. That went right over. Yeah. I went on my roof. Oh, like up. Yeah. You can't go back on your wheels and then on your roof again. Yeah. No, no. Wow. Well, that was fun. Well, this so, case is pretty strong because it just held the weight of my razor. What? He was here. I'm he fine. Went on his roof. Back. I wish we had it on a camera oh, you though. The roll? She did her job. That's it said roll cage is required. Yeah. Nice. Good. It did. Cage is garbage, but the rest held together. It looks like you might have pushed this oh, in look, too. Oh, bent this too. They, oh. yeah. You got your bar over here bent in oh, too, I don't care but the bars. Oh yeah. That's what they're meant for though, man. Imagine oh, how much fine. plastics and yeah, you'd have. That's tough. Yeah, but if you didn't have that, you'd be demoing fenders. Oh, and oh, like yeah. all of it. We just got to go up and down. It was going to end well. <laughs> You know what? We're not leaking air nowhere. We're not leaking fluids nowhere. Nope. Let her sit. Get her oil back down. She's good. She's set. Yeah, she's good. Alrighty. And you didn't move, I'm oh, sure. Yeah. Obviously, this was a prepared nice roll. I knew it was happening, so it's a little different. But. Well, yeah, you knew, hey. I think I can, if I back up a little bit, I might be able to make this turn and then I, I can so drive too. out of here. So, yeah. No sway bar in the rear. Bad idea. It just, it sends that, once you get up and over. Well, especially coming, with... Coming down, man, it was so nice watching your rear end, like... But yeah, it's, it did articulate. It was right. awesome. It does. But on when, this, when you have, like, the aftermarket springs and stuff and it unloads, it yeah. just keeps going. Nothing stops yeah, it. As soon as your body weight went over... It's game good. over. Whatever. It's fun. Good. Yeah. I had a good time. He had one good roll. <laughs> oh, yeah, on my roof. The roof we my cage down. just caved in. Right where my helmet is, it just went through. We rolled it the way. Where's the the trail? I think the trail is probably there. But we did run a double black. Yeah, this is a double black. Yeah. Okay, I think you should jump out for a second. We got a light tag. A light? Yeah. Grab one. Then you can assess your situation. Oh, that's a minor detail. Yeah, we're gonna back up in there. That's the rocker one. A little bit of a spoiler, but what I didn't know at this time was my front right shock was completely blown out. I blew a seal in it and I was riding just on spring. Regardless, you know, it was a roll. It was fun. We had a good time. Nobody's hurt. The machine has no serious damage. It's just part of the game. You know what? You just gotta take it like it goes sometimes. We had a good laugh. We flipped it over real quick, so everything was fine. You're good, dude. You're in your path to work. Oh, but look, there's nowhere to go. Yeah, I'm not that blown front right shock is definitely what was causing the funny handling and definitely played a huge role in this rollover, especially not having the rear sway bar attached. I wish we had that roll on the camera though. We don't. No, just from inside. You did a very spectacular did you job. See it? 
<laughs> yeah, I was right oh, yeah, behind nice. you. Nice. I rolled. Uh, All right, you rolled. You saw it? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I seen it from like. It was my turn. It was your turn. Yeah. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Did you see me flip flop there? No, I missed it. Ah. I did a rollover. I know, and I almost did. Nice, I, very I, nice. I gunned it and I got out of it. Yeah. Look at my tire rack though, I hit that tree. Oh, did it? See how it's bent? I bet, my, uh, dude, I got more than a tire rack bent. Oh, I bet. My cage is caved in. Really? Yeah. This is insane. So yeah, I rolled my razor. It was fun, yep. Caved in the cage, broke this spare tire holder. All in all, Good show, good show. I enjoyed it. It was Ksenia's first real roll. She enjoyed it too. I've been talking about getting an aftermarket cage as my next big mod. Just gave myself a reason, because I uh, wouldn't want to roll that thing with that cage again. They're only designed to really sustain one decent roll from the factory. So uh, it's gonna be time to replace it. There's some nasty sections here. I'm not exaggerating, These some of these drops are wild. It's a double black diamond. Where are the other guys? What's taking them so long? This is a nasty section. Super Greg was feeling a little tired back there. I had to take a quick nap. <laughs> I took, a, I took a nap. I heard he, he went all the way up. Did he roll over too? Yeah, he, well, he just went outside. Oh, yeah, I went a roof over my roof. Yeah. I heard you laid down. It's a slow pace in the back. So I got. It sucks being in the back of the group. Anyway, it's, all, it's all, all good. good. Just later on, I saw it took us like one winch out. Oh, you got the winch over? Well, it was like just a couple of us. I'm like, let's not hurt anybody's back. So we yeah. just winched it backwards to a tree like that. Well, I'm glad we're all taking turns. Oh, yeah. yeah. I want to be like a participation trophy. Dude, don't worry. You'll get more than that. <laughs> this is nice though, eh?
Ksenia was just saying how she feels the harnesses saved her head in that impact. Um, being harnessed in it is such a benefit, especially in an upside down situation like this. Um, you don't really value safety um, devices until you need to use them. Guys, make sure you wear your helmets, make sure you wear your seat belts and your harnesses whenever you're riding. You never know when something silly is going to happen. That roll would not have happened on a normal day, but because of the circumstances, it did. So that's when it's really good to just have those precautions in place. Time for an aftermarket roll cage. I was saying that's my next mod. Yeah. Now I have to get one. You heard me say, if you sustain a roll like that on a stock cage, it's garbage. You have to replace it. Now, if you have a good aftermarket cage, a roll like that should barely phase it. It happens so quick, eh? Yeah. Aside from me rolling over onto my roof there, uh, you probably heard New York Mike saying that he laid over on his side, Corny laid his machine over on its side, and even Super Greg laid his machine over on the side and had to use a winch to get it back up. So this trail might not seem that crazy, but you know, you go a couple inches in the wrong direction and, and you can end up taking a nap. It's really tough filming these long downhills or uphills because you can't ride and, and film at the same time and the distance you're traveling and the terrain you're on makes it really difficult to follow the machine um, on foot. Um, so you're seeing here the front and rear cameras are really the best option on a trail like this. In future videos I'd love to equip various machines with these cameras and kind of keep tighter together so that we can get a better idea of how all the various machines do in this type of terrain. You also kind of heard us being bummed out that we couldn't get a good shot of the Razor upside down or rolled over. We didn't get any pictures of it at all. Nobody did. In a situation like that, the important thing is not the, the, the pictures and kind of getting that Instagram clout or, or, or the shot. It's about getting the machine back on its wheels so that you don't sustain any damage and the fluids don't leak out and, and you can get back on the trail. Um, a picture is not as important as making sure everything's fine so that you can drive out of there. But it is also kind of sucky from time to time when, you know, you're getting all these shots of all the other machines and when you're riding, all those good action shots don't necessarily get filmed because you're too busy filming everyone else. And But that's just the nature of the beast and it's the way it is. And I mean, I'm not complaining. I love all these rides and these videos. It's just, it's impossible to get all the shots no matter what you do. you guys are thinking it and we were all thinking it too it would be epic trying to get up this trail it would probably be like literally an all-day ordeal if you had five or six machines but man would that be a rush if you got up this hill on your own with minimal winching even what an accomplishment I would love to come back and try and conquer this obstacle going up 
If you do plan on riding trails like this, I highly, highly recommend an aftermarket skid plate, as well as aftermarket front A-arms and rear radius rods, because no matter what you do, you will sustain impacts to all those areas, and folding a stock front A-arm on, um, on this section of trail, or, or, and the collateral damage that comes with that, like ripping off a front wheel, oh man, getting out of here, it, it would be treacherous. You would literally have to go back and get parts and reassemble your machine. You are not dragging it out of here. Um, it, it would just be insane. The amount of collateral damage you would sustain would be would be tragic. supposed to go home now and go riding. No, we don't. I'm just not ever going to ride again. You got a spare room when you move down here? I can just rent off you? I think that's the plan now. Yeah. yeah. You guys can alternate. Just, yeah. build, yeah. just build a f***ing hotel. I'm just going to build a shed. Wow. So, that was awesome. And we're not even done yet. There's more ahead. Um, these trails, I mean, if you're not convinced after watching this, I don't think anything's going to convince you because, I mean, this is some of the best riding in the world here, guys. It's awesome. Bear Wallow Trail 20 now. We're slowly making our way back to the town of Logan. The guys want to go grab some food and refuel so that they can hit the trails and take the trails back to camp. 
In our case, the Razer is feeling sketchy right now. The handling is like out of whack. You can see it probably in some of these sections on the straightaway here, really leaning to the right. Um, we could really feel it. Once we got out on the road on the asphalt later, you'll hear us saying like, whoa, the Razer's really pulling to the right. How you're on the trails, on the rough sections, you can't really tell so much. But uh, on the asphalt where there's a lot of grip, uh, you could really feel the machine pulling. At this point, we had no idea that that front shock was blown yet. We knew something was wrong, we just didn't know what it was. Ksenia and I did, however, decide it's likely best to start heading towards camp, just in case there's some issues. And then, if possible, we were gonna kind of try and diagnose those issues and see if we can solve them so that we could salvage another day of riding tomorrow. On top of that, we got a ton of camera gear and batteries to set up. We gotta recharge all the batteries. We gotta get the SD card swapped out. Uh, there's a lot to do behind the scenes in between the days um, to get ready for the next day of filming and riding. Well, we're back out the way we came. city of Logan now. The guys are gonna go fuel up and get some food. We're gonna join them for a little bit. We're gonna get some fuel too and then we're gonna hit the back roads back to uh, Gilbert. Uh, we're gonna stay off the interstate this time. If you guys watched the previous episodes you'll know that we took a wrong turn onto the interstate um, on our way down here which was a no-no. Um, so now we know which way to go back so we'll, we'll take the proper route. It's about a 35 minute road ride back and um, Ksenia and I are really craving some Mexican food. There is an awesome Mexican restaurant in Gilbert, right across the street almost from Twin Hollow Campground. So we're gonna head over there and we're gonna get some much deserved dinner. After that, the goal will be to rinse off the machine so that we can take a good look at it in the morning and see what the damage really is. The hopes are if there is something wrong, we can band-aid it and still get a good day of riding in tomorrow. If we gotta thrash the machine, that's fine as long as we don't miss a ride. You heard Gimpy and I talking about mileage. Both our machines have about 7,000 trail miles on them. 7,000 trail miles of similar terrain to what you guys just witnessed. The amount of abuse that a machine goes through in that distance. It's, it's insane what these machines actually put up with. People complain that they're maintenance intensive, but anything that you drive in conditions like this and treat the way we treat them is going to require constant upkeep. That's just the reality of the situation. No matter what brand, no matter what manufacturer, no matter how it's built, it requires a lot of maintenance if you're going to ride it hard. 
you want your machine to be reliable and not let you down, you have to take good care of it and maintain it. Since the gas station was all jammed up, I wanted to cruise the machine down the road for a second and see how it really felt. This is when I realized something was seriously wrong, like it wasn't just like a minor issue, something was completely out of whack here. At this point, I was still convinced that the issues we were experiencing were mostly related to that rear sway bar being out. Um, I, I knew it shouldn't be pulling to the right as hard as it was, but I thought maybe I'd just tweak something, smack a, smack a rock, maybe bent a tie rod a little bit. I've got all those spare parts in the trailer, so I wasn't too concerned. I, I figured there wasn't much I couldn't fix in an hour or so in the morning and get back out on the trails. Um, obviously, uh, a blown front shock isn't something you can fix unless you have a spare. Um, so we, we didn't really know about that yet, but we just made the best of it. Um, it was really sketchy driving home on the road. Uh, the machine was all over the place, especially at speed and on the asphalt with all the grip. But we decided to slowly head back to Gilbert, get ourselves some dinner. Uh, we said goodbye to all the guys. They hit the trails and um, after they'd eaten and uh, they wanted to, to night ride back to camp, uh, which I don't blame them. We would have done the same thing if the machine felt fine. But we weren't disappointed. We had gotten a great day of riding in, and we were really looking forward to this Mexican food. Like I said earlier, this place is great, guys. If you are in Gilbert and you like Mexican food, then you have to check this place out. You will not be disappointed. It's really tasty. And on the right here, you see Giovanni's Pizza, also a great place to go get yourself a nice greasy snack at night. There was one more really cool thing ahead. When we pulled into the restaurant, um, um, one of the guys, or, or a few of the guys that were eating there, had recognized us and recognized the machine and said they watch all the videos. Um, so we had a nice chat. Uh, it was so cool to meet viewers. I meet viewers all over wherever we ride, and um, I just still can't get over it. it. It just makes me feel awesome when I get to connect with these people off video. It really was the cherry on top of my nut. I don't want to interrupt. You're not I'm interrupting me, man. Out, my out. kids are not going to freaking believe it if I was just like, yeah, he was there, but he no was video. eating dinner and everything. Now they're going to see it. Oh, <laughs> God. No. This is when I asked you to take a picture. picture. I just Let's get in a ride. picture together, so, man. Yeah, so yeah. give us a little tutorial. Um, oh, God. This what size are the tires? 34. 34. Yeah. And I, I, well, we roll it. You can see the cage caved in over there on that so side. So this is all my fault. I'm sorry to interrupt you. No, it's all good. She's used to it. It's so crazy when you see it in real life. Yeah, like there's got there's a lot done to it, but it's not extreme by any means. No, yeah. Yeah, this I met busted about. the spare tire carrier today. It's so sick. Oh, so God. it rolled on this side, you can see it's all bent. I can't believe you freaking rolled it. Oh man. I rolled you right got on footage? its roof. You got footage of from it? the front and the rear, not from outside, unfortunately. Ah. I wasn't expecting it. It was in such a dumb well, of course spot. Not. Yeah. We did some gnarly trails today though. Yeah, we stretched it a little bit, but mostly. Rock the House is really rough. The tires are huge, yeah. man. Yeah, they're big, eh? Ooh. That's yeah, we rode Devil Ants, and that was that was rough. Yeah, we rode that yesterday. Stuff. Yeah, we rode Buffalo Mountain and Devil's Ants I mean, yesterday. That's what we're doing tomorrow. It looks badass, dude. Do you not have tender springs? I these are um these are uh, shock therapy for dual rate springs, so it has a really big tender on top. It's a dual rate. That's so. huge. So like, yeah, it's sitting yeah. really nice. Yeah, like it's. I know, that's what I was saying because you know how fat your tenders are. Yeah, they they, they squish this together. This is the best mod you can do for what? ride quality. Yeah, yeah. really? Yeah. I need mean, it. It's a lot of money that's for these whatever. springs, but it's that's what we were talking everything. about earlier. A lot of people are like, like do that space? first. Do, do it. it first. Should yeah. come with this on. No, that's called a seal saver. That's extra. Running these trailing arms, I can't run a, a like a roost deflector, so I just put those on to save the shock from getting scratched up. Oh, okay, okay. I don't always run them, but when we're doing like higher speed, lots of miles, I put them on. All right, let's get a picture. I don't yeah, want to do it. too long. Let's do it. <laughs> got, who's got my phone? Oh, yeah. Well, after a good day ride, we need a good meal. Also, we got a chance to meet some fans. And um, the Razor seems okay driving home after the roll. It's definitely banged up, but 
No, are you serious? What, what, a, what an awesome day. This is one of the best days of riding I've had in a long, long, long time. It's exactly what I wanted. We rode the trails I wanted. The Razor worked well. Everyone's machines worked well. We had some viewers with us. We met some more viewers. The energy was great. This is the best Mexican food I've ever had. Yeah, if you go to, um, if you go to Gilbert, you gotta eat the Mexican here at the Mexican restaurant. So I, I was craving it since we got here. Super authentic, really tasty. But anyways, absolutely amazing day. Um, 10 out of 10, super stoked. So I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Um, we got another day ahead of us tomorrow. I'm kind of nervous that I don't have that rear sway bar. Me too. Um, Cause there's gonna be some off camera stuff and it might result in another roll. Hopefully if it does, it's not like a damaging one, but we didn't come to go around. So we gotta keep sending it. Anyways guys, ride safe out there. Smash that like button, subscribe to the videos to the channel, check out some of the other content. Want to do some damage assessment? Make sure uh, we're good for tomorrow. Evidently, I'm pretty tired here because that razor is pretty much laying on its right side. It's got so much slant to it. How could I not notice something was tweaked? You're about to see Ksenia point out some of the more visible damage from the roll. Tomorrow in the next episode, um, during daylight hours, I'll give you guys a much more thorough damage assessment and show you all the carnage. Realistically speaking, the razor soaked up the roll really well and there was no serious um, body damage or, or mechanical damage related to the actual roll. Alright, we are all rinsed off, good enough to uh, do some damage inspection tomorrow morning. So we're going to head back to camp, we're going to meet up with Jason, his wife, and uh, I think his buddy Lee, and his girlfriend or wife, I'm not sure, I guess we'll find out when we meet them. And um, yeah, we're gonna hit the trails with them tomorrow. Like I said before, at dinner, awesome day, awesome day, absolutely amazing ride. So I hope you guys enjoyed all the action. Stay tuned, I'm sure there's a lot more coming your way. So we're gonna make it back to camp and we'll pick up with you tomorrow. Thanks for checking out the video, I hope you enjoyed it. It was an absolutely amazing adventure. We all had a ton of fun. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do so. It doesn't cost you guys anything, and it really helps the videos rank better on YouTube. It also helps more people discover the content. You can also follow along on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Instagram and Facebook are great ways to keep in touch, get some behind the scenes action, check out photos from the rides, short video clips, and also get information on upcoming adventures and where we're planning to go next. If you'd like to help support the channel, then the best way to do so right now is through the Shopify store. You can get yourself some cool merch, sweaters, shirts, stickers, and keep in mind, all the items you buy on the Shopify store are locally sourced and locally made. I am a small business and I like to support other small businesses. You're not getting mass produced crap from China here. All the orders are processed, packaged, and dispatched by myself and Ksenia, uh, so just keep that in mind. We are not Amazon, you're not going to get your delivery in a day or two, so please do give us a week or two to dispatch your orders because we are busy and depending on our schedules, we can't always ship every day. As always, thanks for watching, ride safe out there, and we'll see you in the next video.